All right, friends. So today's face reflexology focus is anxiety relief. So anxiety manifests often as worry, agitation, reaching for the future, overthinking. It's very difficult for us to feel like we can be present and enjoy what's happening here in the now, which is where everything that you need is. So this will be a really awesome opportunity for you to focus on letting go of what really isn't serving and causing you to stay out of being in present moment. With anxiety relief focus and the flow method, face reflexology, I am using the detector, but you can at home use your finger knuckle to activate these pressure points. And the focus of our face reflexology is working internally through the body systems and expressing beauty on the outside through our face. So we work internally to express externally. So whatever's showing up on our face is a sign of what is calling our attention in our body. So I'm gonna start at the very top of the forehead and we'll start to work our way down through this series. So um, working at the top, when we move this line down here through the center of the forehead all the way to the end of the nose, that is working through the entire spine. So we will access certain parts of the spine through these movements. So starting here, I'm gonna work down to point 103, which is right at the middle of the forehead. And if I feel like an area is pretty stuck, I might hold the skin a little bit more taut and I'm not digging into my skin in any way. I'm just doing gentle little circles, clockwise, counterclockwise a few times. With a finger knuckle, sometimes it feels better to do little pulses or hold the pressure points. So whatever is feeling good for you to be able to access so that we open up the energy pathways but you're not digging into your skin your skull your body when you're doing this so very gentle movements um, when in doubt think slower more purposeful lighter rather than deeper so point 103 this is going to help to release that feeling of feeling stuck overthinking um, fear and anxiety. We're just going to relieve the mind. This will improve memory, relax, tone up energy, regulate our chi. This is also really good for clearing the mind of thoughts that no longer serve. And of course, this will stimulate our chakras. And then I'm going to move down to point 106, which is just below that, kind of our third eye center, if you will. And point 106 is essential for intuition, activating Ajna Chakra, the third eye center, becoming more intuitive. This creates better connection with the head and the body. It sort of puts the head back on the body and the body into the head. This will relieve anxiety as well as any type of neck pain, muscle spasms, it regulates your heartbeat and will help to reduce insomnia. So this is a great one to activate before bedtime. We're gonna move down just a little bit further right to the middle of the brow here. This is going to stimulate the pituitary gland and the PNS. So we want to get into the parasympathetic nervous system here. Point 26. Um, this is going to regulate or balance water energy and our endocrine system, promoting deep relaxation, soothing pain. This can act as an antiseptic point, regulate heartbeat, and then also improve sleep. So basically I've just been working down the line. So 0 0.103, 0 0.106, 0 0.26. And I'm gonna move right to the middle of the upper part of the nose here, 0 0.189. And this area can feel a little bit tender, especially the cartilage on the nose. So just being gentle here. So I'm pulling energy down into the body, down the rest of the, the spine. So this is great for reducing any type of back pain and tension in the back as well. Each of these areas can be stimulated for about 30 seconds and then you'll wanna move on. And you can also do this several times a day. It's gonna go back up and hit kidney point. We wanna hit the kidney point on the left side. So a little bit closer to the hairline here, right above the middle of the eye. And I'm gonna do a little bit of a bigger circle here. This is a little tender point. Source of water, this is gonna cool and calm the body. And again, this is the kidney point. The kidneys are 
a space of holding a lot of energy. So this is a great way to open that up and release. And then we're gonna activate two of my favorite points. You're, you might notice a little bit of redness on my skin because I've been doing quite a few um, reflexology points. The redness is just releasing heat, inflammation, tension. That's good to see that. Um, it could also mean that my pressure might be a little too intense. Sometimes when I'm talking at the same time, I am uh, creating a little bit too much pressure. So always backing off on your pressure is ideal. But my favorite points here, right at the corner of the brow, point 34, this is in conjunction with gallbladder and spleen. And connecting these two points together is gonna to create a sedative effect. This is gonna be very calming. So on the right side here, I'm working to release shoulder tension. Um, when I access these two points, and I definitely am feeling some tenderness here. It's a little sticky right here, so I'm gonna just kind of work in that a little bit more. Um, this will help to calm the nervous system and of course release pain. And I'm just gonna move right up here. Right side is gonna be gallbladder. And gallbladder and spleen work together. They are pairs. I definitely am feeling a little bit of stickiness right here with the gallbladder. I'm gonna give myself a moment here just to tune in and feel the sensation of connecting to my gallbladder and giving it permission to relax. And in just in doing that, I'm feeling my call to breathe a little bit deeper. So powerful relaxation and calm as we move into the spleen point now on this side. And with the spleen, we are definitely calming the monkey mind. We are definitely releasing anxiety. And this is also a really good point for treating heavy periods. And another reason I like to activate the spleen point is it can help balance sugar cravings. So um, my teacher taught me that if we're constantly craving sugar in our food, it could be a sign that we're not getting enough sweetness in life around us. Um, I believe that my life is pretty sweet. I think I am just craving sugar on the regular, um, but I also do spend some time thinking about that. And when we are lacking things like basic needs, um, it can be very triggering to our safety and security and the foundations of our basic needs being met. So definitely something to think about if you're constantly craving sugar. All right, so now that we've worked spleen and gallbladder as well as the relaxation points of the shoulders to create that calming effect. I'm gonna go down into the lungs on the sides of the nose here, middle side of the nose. And this is gonna help us to release even more anxiety, take some nice deep breaths. First cross over to the other side. I'm gonna go in and stimulate point one, the Ming Men point, right at the tip of the nose. And this point has a lot of different benefits and it's kind of a melting pot. The gate of vitality point. Um, but this is where we enter no thought and increase our concentration and presence. We'll also relieve back pain. Um, it can increase sexual energy, warms the body increases overall energy. It's gonna to also tone while relaxing the body. This is also a great point for stimulating hair growth. Perfect, so crossing over to the right side, which is my right side, I'm gonna work the liver point. My liver point has already been pretty stimulated. Um, it is an area where I was having some breakouts so I was taking an opportunity to focus on what is going on with my liver. Um, liver is detoxing and cleansing. I don't um, drink alcohol, but I definitely was over consuming sugar and sugar shows up as a fierce toxin in my body. So um, this point sort of exploded on my face and I've been able to work through it and help to create a little bit more balance. But here the liver can hold a lot of anger and negative energy, so stimulating this point will help to pacify. It will detox the body, as I mentioned, and create increased lymphatic movement. It's 
important for us to have a proper way to express ourselves. And when we feel like we can't, that anger builds up. So when we release that anger, we properly express, we can move forward. Crisscrossing over to another spleen point, point 37. So spleen point, point 39 is stomach, which is right here closer to the nostril. And then a little bit further over is the spleen point. So this is the secondary spleen point. We also have it above here in the forehead. And I'm just gonna work this area a couple more moments. And then I'm gonna move into pericardium next. So pericardium point 60 is gonna be kind of right at the top of the cheeks, moving across to the outer corners of the eye, right in line with um, this part of your ear. So I'm gonna work point 60 pericardium. I love this point because usually I feel an instant sense of sigh or relief. Ooh, there it was. Um, it enhances feelings of love and connection. It calms and it relieves anxiety. So constant opportunities for our body to externally connect into internally what's happening with anxiety in our body. I'm gonna cross over and get the other side. Pericardium shows up on both sides of our face. So I'm just gonna hit point 60 over here. This will also stimulate energy to our eyes, our heart, our lungs, chest, breasts, forehead, tongue, face, arms, forearms, hands, middle fingers, and bladder. It is fire energy, but it will calm, relieve anxiety. And again, you'll get that instant, like something just left your body that no longer serves. All right, completing this with our bladder point down here, point 87, I'm gonna connect at the center of the chin. And I'm definitely feeling some tenderness here. Wow, interesting. Um, this is an ovary point. Ah. There we go, that's why. If you're on your cycle, you'll probably feel this. Um, this is an area where we might hold some fear and we can definitely start to feel that release. A puffy chin is an indication that we're holding a lot of emotion, we're holding back on feeling that release or expression. So we wanna be able to tap this point to disperse and circulate energy and again, release fear. And then with any full reflexology session, it's always great to do a few circles around the ear. So you would start at the top of the ear, move down, back of the ear and around. And you wanna do that a few times because it sort of sets this into motion. It locks it in and allows the body to receive the work. And then over time, if we're feeling less anxiety, not only are we feeling amazing, but our skin will start to show that as well. Mm. Our skin will show anxiety through redness, irritation, breakouts, stress on the skin through dryness, fine lines and wrinkles. So I'm gonna work this other point because we wanna get the ears on both sides to lock in this beautiful work we just did. All right. And so just another disclaimer, if you haven't seen my videos before, I am more Pitta energy, fire and water. So my skin tends to show redness really easily. My skin is not irritated. I am not feeling any sensations of burning or itching at all. Um, I just am able to release a lot of heat and inflammation pretty easily through my skin, through touch. Okay, so, all right. Now I'm feeling a lot less anxious. This is a good time to then do meditation or journaling and really focus on what is calling you into the now, what needs your attention most, not the future. So anytime we're reaching for the future, that's anxiety. Take this opportunity to breathe yourself. If you have any questions, please follow up. You can tune in to my website at wellnessisbeauty.org to see more information about my services. Check out my YouTube page for more videos. I will see you guys all very soon. Thank you.